Motion is a public transportation simulation for PC platform. Uh, in the game, the player operates as the chief of the uh, public transportation company. And the main aspect of Cities in Motion is to study the different cities we have in the game. We have Berlin, Amsterdam, Vienna and Helsinki. Each of these bring a new challenge to the player, where you have to study the city, see where the citizens are going, what do they like to do, and then build an appropriate transportation network for them. You can operate with uh, basic uh, transportation like buses, trams and metro. Then we have these special vehicles. They're very cool. We have helicopters, we have water buses. And especially in Amsterdam, water buses can be really, really efficient. And one thing I absolutely love about Cities in Motion is that we have an underground view for the metro system. This is the first time you'll, you'll be able to go underground, build the tunnels, build the whole system uh, for the metro. In Cities in Motion we have over 30 different kind of vehicles. So starting from uh, 1920s you have the more slower, maybe smaller, the classic vehicles. Then spanning over 100 years uh, you get to 21st century with the more modern, more shiny vehicles to your use. So buses are the cheapest choice in the game. Uh, it's really easy to start your company by using them. You just have to place the stops, buy the bus and start transporting the masses. They are also very cheap, but there's one disadvantage. They can get jammed in the traffic. To avoid the traffic jams, you can use the metro and tram and they're maybe a bit more costly, but really fast and efficient. For the, for the metro and tram, you of course have to build the tracks first, which makes it costly. But um, the underground metro is, is the most efficient and reli reliable of the transportation methods. Water buses and helicopters. I like to call these the special vehicles, because they are not really what we use that much in the real life. But this is a game, so I think it's a nice, nice touch. Uh, the water buses are really efficient. The helicopters are very fast, way more costly than any other method, but the business people love it. They will use it and you'll get a lot of profit out of it. In addition to building your network, uh, you can adjust ticket prices and the wages of the employees. And also we have um, marketing included in the game. So to attract more uh, passengers, you can use uh, newspaper ads and, of course, in later times, the internet. We have put a lot of work to the artificial intelligence for the citizens. Uh, we have unique people living in the cities. They all have a place to live, a name, a job, and different kind of preferences where they want to travel. Some might love golfing, maybe go to the stadium to see a match. Um, and the the trick is to get to know these people and see where they are going because they constantly uh, explore the routes and see which one is the most optimal for them. And they also uh, check the prices so you have to make sure that they are always uh, appropriate. As cities grow there will be more people to carry so you should always make sure you have the fleet upgraded to the vehicles that are more advanced, uh, that have bigger capacity and more modern features. When the cities grow, you notice some small changes. The countryside starts to disappear and new suburbias will be building up. Also, the citizens change. They start to dress differently. Uh, maybe they'll be driving a newer car. And uh, of course, the economic also fluctuates. So we have two different game modes in Cities in Motion. We have the campaign mode, where you have 12 different scenarios in four different cities in different eras and the sandbox mode uh, where you just choose the starting year and start building the network from scratch. We also have a map editor in Cities in Motion so if you like you can build even your own city uh, and you have the same tools in your use as our level designers have. Cities in Motion is our first project at Colossal Order we're a Finnish game studio and uh, the, the team has always loved the classic games like Transport Tycoon and Traffic Giant. So this was a really passionate project for us and uh, we've been really enjoying developing Cities in Motion. And we certainly hope you will love the game as much as we do.